Good morning, Kit Kats, and welcome to the town of Misthold. So today is going to be a little bit bittersweet because um, since I have been super duper duper neglecting my town, um, I decided that uh, we should sell the town. So um, I asked the girl who won the contest last year to pick the name for the new town of Misthold. Um, and she said it's okay if we delete the town because she wasn't really too attached to it, unfortunately. <laughs> and to be all honest, I wasn't that attached to it as well just because I literally only recorded like, what, three, four episodes for it. So, um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be resetting the town, selling the town to Nook, and um, I'm going to get the bells from selling the town into a lump sum, not a lump sum, uh, installments, um, for my town. So that way, like every, every day I'll be getting about some, some amount of money for my town that I have. So for the first 100 days, which I think is really cool. Um, so that'll help us buy some things and kind of get more set up and everything. So let's get started so um just a little walk through through the town um i don't even know who the heck you are soleil soleil Well, he's mad. Or she's mad. <laughs> I can't tell. But yeah. Don't give me them side eyes. Rude. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> um, I am going to be deleting just because, like, there's flowers everywhere. There was no, like, uh, direction for this town that I really had. Um, I didn't like the placement of some of these houses. <sighs> Again with the yawning. I am so sorry, guys. I don't know what it is, but like the time that I record every day, like 10, 11, 12 o'clock, I always get super sleepy and I haven't even eaten yet. I don't know why. So anyway, um, but yeah, the town is just kind of meh, you know, like there's like, the, you know, like that big odd open space right there that I didn't like. Um, cause there was a house right there and it just, it was just weird. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the town in general. So, um, that's what we're going to do. And, um, we're going to start. So save and quit. And so this is basically going to be like a little tutorial on how to reset your town. Um, you know, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but it just made sense in the long run to the where we could have like this on my channel and actually, um, you know, so I can try to keep up with it. Um, so, all right, so here we go. So once you have your save file, you click continue, click on your name, and then Isabelle's going to run through her spiel of like, Hey, it's today. Welcome back to Mistold. And so instead of clicking yes, let's, you need to click I need help first. And she can assist you with setting the time, demolishing your home, recreating the town, or never mind. So you're actually going to click recreate the town. She's like, okay, the town will be, wait, what? You, you can't be serious. I mean, rebuild the town? That means Misthold will be totally gone. Is that what you really want? Yes, Isabel. Yes, it is what I want. I want this town to be gone. <laughs> all the bells you earned, all your furniture, it will all be lost. And those who live in this town, all gone. Oh my goodness, you precious poor thing. You are adorable and I love you. This is why you're my best girl. 
And he's like, are you sure about this? This is absolutely positively what you really, really, really want. Yes, this is what I want. Don't click on second thought. <laughs> Understood. If he feels that strongly about it. All right, I just have one more question for you. <sighs> Once Miss Hold is deleted, are you interested in becoming mayor of a new town right away? Or were you thinking of taking a break from village life for a while? So for getting a new town and getting all the bells from Nook, you can click I want a new town. Um, I'm not entirely sure if taking a break will also give you the um, option of selling your town and uh, what you call it, like getting the bells from Nook that you can start off with later. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to go with I want a new town just so that way we can get that going. Oh, excuse me. And I'm very happy to hear that. I hope that I can be some assistance as you start your new life. And this is where she calls in Mr. Nook. Rebuilding Misthold. Fresh start is just what's called for. I'm delighted to be able to offer you a unique opportunity. I will purchase Misthold from you. I think this arrangement will be mutually beneficial, yes? We start over with new names and new faces and a hefty sack of bells to put towards the rebuilding effort. It's effectively the same as choosing the recreate town option, but only with more bells for you. Yes, yes, very good. I'm glad to see you're thinking with your wallet. <laughs> Always thinking about money, that Tom Nook. Now, if you like, I can go ahead and give you your town through appraisal. I hit my mic because I was pointing with my finger. <laughs> that way you'll know exactly what you'll get if you decide to sell. As you can still change your mind if you are unhappy with the results, well, what do you want to do? Say, what do you want? What do you say? Hmm? Appraise that town. Let's see how much Mist Hold is worth. Two. Two. 402. 328,422. Okay. 4,328,422 bells. Quite a reasonable surprise if I do say what. I can't talk today. Why can I not talk today? A small matter of your shopping catalog. And yes, I'm going to sell my shopping catalog. Yes, I know that. I know that. Sell the catalog. Give me an extra couple hundred bells. So, like he says, if you choose lump sum, all of that money that is up on that little screen will be transferred to your automated bell dispenser at once. Basically, your ATM, your bank account. Or, if you do installments, it's 100 days, and you get a 10% interest on the balance. So, that means you get 10% more than what you have there, which is really nice. Um... So, oh, excuse me. For the first 100 days in your new town, you'll receive 51,516 bells each day. That adds up to a total of 51, 5,151,600 bells when all is said and done. See, so that's not bad. That's another five, that 500,000 bells almost. Probably more. So... I'm going to do the installments, so that way I get a little bit more than what my uh, town is actually appraised for. Alright. And I'm going to sell the town! And that's that. The sale of your town is now complete. Fastest closing in the business, guaranteed. Installments of 5150... 50... 50 ugh. 51,516 bells has already been wired to the ABD in your new town's post office. 
Yeah, buddy. Now there's just one last thing. I've invited an old friend to see you off as you start your new life. Rossetti! Hey, it's me, Rossetti. Who are you expecting? So old Tom Nook was just telling me. You're gonna be resetting. Your whole blasted town, is that right? Well, I guess these things happen. He looks so, like, surprised. It ain't gonna be easy, you know, starting your whole life over. But sometimes having a second shot is just what you need, so you can try things out without fear of failure. I guess what I'm saying is, get out there, enjoy your new life, and try to make it a good one. Oh yeah, before I let you go, I'd really appreciate it if you could set up a research reset surveillance center in your new town, okay? Now scram! <laughs> oh man, Rossetti. Rover! Alright, let's see if we can get us a good map real quick. Twelve oh three. Is it twelve oh three? It is twelve oh three on the sixteenth. Yup. <sighs> All right. Sure thing, Rover. Come and have a seat. My name is Tawny. Confirm. And then it gives you the options of cool and cute. Cool if you're a boy, cute if you're a girl. It's the only options they give you, unfortunately. And then he says, cute name, fitting for a girl like you. I know, right? And it's like, so Tawny, tell me where are we headed today? Um, I'm thinking about doing Harmony, so I think that's what I'm going to do. A-R-M-O-N-Y. Harmony. Town of Harmony. Uh huh. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. That one's pretty okay. Um, I'm gonna move these up a little bit just so that way y'all could see what the town looks like. If I can get this to work real quick. All right. Alright, there we go. So this is the first town map. I'm not liking it too much just because um, I wanted something a little bit more centered because I don't like the way the river goes up and out instead of um, like down, you know? So let's go on to the next one. Hmm. Ooh. I've never had a a left beach. That'd be interesting. Hmm. I do like that the dock is like right by the entrance, so that's not bad. Okay, so we'll keep number two in mind. No, I definitely don't like that one. I can tell you that right now. It's everything's way too cut off. I uh, mm -mm, no. <laughs> mm, that one's not the greatest either. All right. 
There's this only stations along the train line I'm unfamiliar with. Yeah, we're going with two. Yeah. All right, there's number two. So let me get back to the regular viewing screen. All right, so I'm glad we found it. This is Harmony, is it? So do you get to go to Harmony very often? I think I'm going to click I've never been there. Okay, and I'm moving. I want to get my nice town person, you know. And I'll get a place there. Alright. Well, let's go see who we have in Harmony. <laughs> so that's a cute little Easter egg if y'all didn't know the traveling since 2002 because 2002 is when the first Animal Crossing came out. So I think that's kind of adorable. I really wish that you could get like them living in your town like your NPCs. So I think that would be like super cool. All right, looks like we got the hair plane. <laughs> the hair plane hairstyle, awesome. All right, ooh, we got Twiggy, Mott, Rasher, hmm. I'm kind of okay with Twiggy. Um, Mott, I've never seen before, and Rasher, I'm not too fond of him right now. I don't like his coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue this discussion of Town Hall, shall we? Map of Harmony. Alright. I hope that's one of the fake rocks. Let's see. Looks like we got pears for our town fruit. That's interesting. Oh wait, where am I going? I'm going to plot my house and that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Dear Lord, I am not paying attention. Isabel, she's so adorable. Former mayor held the position for many, many years and was quite set in his ways. But youth is a breath of fresh air and exactly the new image our town needs. You're perfect for the job. All right, of course we need you to get started right away on your work as mayor. Therefore, we must complete your registration, resident registration. A mayor should always be a resident. What is your name? Oh, right, Tawny, duh. What is your name next? Oh no, this is bad. I can't believe I forgot something so vitally important. In order to register you as a town resident, we need your address for the form. Tawny, do you have a place to live yet? There aren't any vacant houses here, but you can build one. We really should have you decide where you're going to live before we proceed. And here I made you go come all the way to town hall for nothing. I apologize for being so flaky. Oh, Isabel, you're so flaky. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let's see. 
Yes, yeah, go to Main Street so we can go to Nook Homes. Please live, come back and let me know right away. All right. So let's go to Nook Homes. Yeah. Eh, I'm not a fan of him. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if anybody is. I want my town to be kind of cute doesn't fit the aesthetic. Alright, so we got Nookling Junction over here, the Able Sisters, and actually the museum is way over here at this time. So that's kind of interesting. Alright, Nook Homes, that's gonna be Club LOL, the Dream Suite. I want to say that's going to eventually be the fortune telling place. Not entirely sure. Then we got our nice little cliff to look out. All right, let's go get our home. And after that, we'll go and do the thing. here today because you want to build a house. Very good, very good. I can build just one about anywhere you need. Yes, so you have to decide on where you want to live. Yep. Alright. I'm sorry if I'm not reading all this, guys, because I know I've had another episode where I did this. But, um, alright. Come on, Nook. What do I have in this town? Oh my gosh, I have Bob! Blessed. See how it looks. I think I should move it one more space over. Just because I want a little bit more of the waterfall when I come in. Let's see. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Perfect. Yep. So I get to hear the waterfall every morning when I come and play. And with that, this space is officially yours, Tony. Um, including cost of land, materials, building costs, etc. Calculations are complicated, so I can't come up with it now. I'll just tell you the total later. Anyway, I'm sure you're very busy since you just moved here. Once you've taken care of other things, stop by my store again to get the bill, hmm? Ah, uh, but I suppose you still need a place to rest your head, right? Give me just a moment. Like, where did he grab that tent from? And it's funny, because if you know about Tanukis, it, I don't know. 
It's... Mm, I'm just gonna pretend nothing happened. And he just pulled it from his jacket. He was carrying it the whole time. Right, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to Isabel um, real quick so that way we can get some of the things because I know Isabel gives us like some tools and some stuff like that I can't walk. There are so many trees. And try and finish this up in the next 15, 17 minutes, something like that. So, don't worry, this won't be a terribly long video. In case y'all didn't know, my birthday is July 19th. So in case y'all wanted to know that. All right, got my TPC. It's an ID card that proves you live in harmony. <laughs> that just sounds so funny now. Ah, uh, that's great. I live in harmony. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it sounds like super hippie-ish. It's great. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I'm hitting this because like I'm yawning and I'm trying not to yawn, but then I hit my mic and it just ends badly. So I'm super sorry, guys. And let's go plant that tree. And get that bread. Plant that tree. Get the bread. <laughs> Bob! Bob is so cute. I love Bob. He's staying. <laughs> And I have planted the tree. Now everyone knows that this is the town that we live in. Harmony. <laughs> Yay! All right, relax. All right, so we're gonna go get all the advice from Isabel real quick. So that way she can give us some, uh, some tools, like a fishing pole. Cause what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go collect some seashells off of the beach and then I'm gonna go give one to her because I know she asks for a sea seashell. So let's go do that. Let's go to the beach real quick. Grab some seashells. <laughs> Can run on the sand because that won't mess up the ground. 
All right, let's go talk to Isabel. Get some free things, like some rare fruits. Okay, let me hear it. I know about tapping the map. Okay, cool. Oh, I guess I need to do that. So let me go out. Tap on the map. Where's Bob? Oh, that's where I thought Bob was. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't run. Just say the hi to everybody. Ooh, she's here already. Heck yeah. Twiggy. Very dependable. With your help, we can really put Harmony on the map as a cool place to live, cheapers. Cute. Oh, Mayor, I'm Mott. We're going to be big fans of each other. So, that tree you planted, when I saw you performing that ceremony, I had a thought. I thought if this lady bro's in charge, Harmony is in good hands. We're counting on you, Tony. <laughs> Make this town the strongest town around. So I feel like I have two jocks already. Um, I'm not entirely sure what Bob or Gloria is. Oh, excuse me. All right, so I think that should be sufficient enough for Isabel. So I'm just gonna go and all right. Oh, Mayor Tony, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I'll give you some advice. Let me hear it. How to make most of your life? Hmm. I like him very gentle. I consider him an oasis for your heart here in Harmony. Please go introduce yourself to Bob. Okay. So I guess I have to go introduce myself to Bob and Gloria before I can do anything else. This sucks. Where's Gloria living? Gloria? Okay, cool. Come back to you. Oh, Bob is at home! Hi, Bob. Cool. Alright, bye, Bob. <laughs> Just doing this so I can get this done. <laughs> I still love you, though. You're adorable. Alright, let's go say hi to Gloria, and then we'll go back to Isabel. Didn't know we had to say hi to every single one of them. So we'll cray cray. So inspiring. I know our town is going to grow even lovelier. My name is Gloria, and I look forward to seeing what you're going to do with Harmony. Yay. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I 
made that noise and my cat looked at me like, why? All right. So hopefully she's like, all right, cool. You met everybody. You're troubled about what to do? Seeing that you just moved here, I'll give you some advice. Let me hear it. Hmm, what else? Got it. Have you ever written a letter before? Everyone in town loves letters. Even close neighbors often send letters to each other. Need some stationery. If you're okay with regular line paper. How dare you only give me regular line paper, Isabel? How dare you? Contents of the letter. After that, you can attach an item from your pockets as a present. Letter is ready to send. You can mail it to the post office on Main Street. All right, cool. Let's see. Write a letter. I'm sad I can't write one to. Uh. Like Isabel. I can't spell today. Oops, attaching a seashell to it. Alright, let's go deliver this letter. Bob just got a letter. Bob just got a letter. Bob just got a letter. It's definitely for me. <laughs> I know I'm running and I really don't care at this point. I just want to kind of get this over and done with. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much because I'm trying not to yawn because I notice when I talk a lot, I yawn. Like right now. So. Go to the mailbox. Go to the mailbox. Now let's go give this to Pelly. Send mail. Let's send your mail to Person in Harmony. Send that to Bob. Okay. Cool. Let's go back to Isabel so she can give us some fruit. I think we give her the she shell and I can't talk today because I said she shell. She shell. But she'll take the sea shell and then we will uh what you call it? We'll get a basket of fruit back from her. So that'll be cool. Oh, Mayor Tony, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I could give you some advice. Yes, Isabel, we know. We know you could give advice. New advice. Been to the beach yet? This town has two slopes you can get down to use to the beach. You can use to get down to the beach. God, I can't talk today. If you have a fishing rod or a wetsuit, you can fish or dive and have a lot of fun down there. It's so relaxing just to listen to the waves and walk along the beach collecting seashells. Oh, I know. If you have time, why don't the two of us go down there together right now? 
It would be nice to find a seashell to take home as a souvenir of our little trip. Ah, oh my, I should apologize. That was too big for me. <laughs> really, it wouldn't be enough. It would be enough of you from time to time. Press Y to quickly pick up some seashells. If you happen to go down to the beach and remember that, it would be a nice thing to do for me. Right. Yeah, I got seashells. <laughs> Oh. Here you go. I'll give her a sand dollar. Yeah, sand dollars are cool. You actually remember to bring me a seashell? Oh. Yeah, peaches. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Specifically told me I should share them with people because that's what good puppies do. Bless you, Isabel. Okay, so let's go get that shovel. All right, looks like this might go over a little bit, 45 minutes, but it shouldn't be too much longer. Because I'm actually gonna go get my uh, deposit of bells. From the ABD. So I'm just gonna pull out 2,000 bells or 20,000. Yeah, let's do 20,000. Nooks. Nookling Junction. I'm sorry. Nookling Junction. And, ooh, okay. Um. So, only have the shovel. I don't have. I got the shovel and the fishing pole. Um, but they don't have the net which I'm hoping Isabel can get for me. fishing pole mm -hmm. alright let's go thank you for visiting Hmm. All right, sorry guys. 
Oh, Mayor Tommy, is everything all right? If you're troubled about what to do, seeing that you just moved here, I can give you some advice. Let me hear it. So to teach you how to plant trees. Well, since you're carrying a shovel, I'll give you some pointers on raising fruit trees. First, use your shovel to dig a hole. Select fruit and plant from your pockets and choose berry. It's quite simple. However, there are things you can do to make sure your trees grow nice and strong. Glad to hear it. Please use your shovel to dig up all sorts of things. Record all the bug and fish you've caught. Alright, let's go catch three fish. Because at the end, she gives us a watering can, so it's really the main reason why I'm doing this. fishies in the ocean. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's try going to the other one. Just going to the pond. Or, late, or uh, river, I mean. Ah, here we go. Oh, he used to be so good at fishing. Dang it, come on, fish. I give up on you. Finally, got one. Pond smelt. Sorry if I'm not talky, guys. Like, fishing is a big deal.
See if that'll catch this fish's eye. Yep. <laughs> All right. I've got one fish so far. Even though I caught three, I mean two, I got one type of fish so far. Let me go down to the uh, beach, see if I have any luck. Oh, of course. Alright, it's fish number two. And one more to go. Alright. Looks like we're good to go. We have the three fish. Yay. Alright, let's go back to Isabel. So we can get those lovely, lovely fishing cans. Hear the advice. Check my encyclopedia. A lot to do all year long. Any fish to find as you live here. Give you a small present. Sort of less welcoming gift of sorts. Watering can! Alright. Little ones will be happy and perk up again the next day. If you take good care of flowers and give them water, sometimes a new flower will bloom. And sometimes one will even bloom in a rare color. I don't know if you have any interest in gardening, but I really hope you'll use that watering can. Also, I know there are still many more things for you to learn and discover about living in this town. Just think about the advice I've given you so far and enjoy living the life you most want. I'm sure you'll figure out a lot on your own while you go about your days enjoying our town. I'll continue to be here to support you to the best of my ability. I hope I can help you for many more years to come. Alright, last thing we're going to do. Um, I was going to check. Okay, I guess we can't check town satisfaction yet. 
So, all right, Kit Kats, that is going to be it for this episode of Tawny Plays Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Um, I'm, I hope you enjoyed the process of getting to create a new town and actually sell your old town so that way you can kind of know what to do if you ever decide to sell your old town. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, I will see y'all later and don't forget to rate, comment, follow, and subscribe to my channel. All right. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.